Masking is the art of hiding the absence of inner compliance with outer compliance. Let me give you an example. I have, at certain points in my life, kept with me two sets of books. One set is comprised of any content or literature pertaining to my special interests. Let's call this the interest set. Any information from this set is effortlessly soaked up because it is this to which I am receptive and this for which I hunger. The other set is any content or literature that I might consider useful or important for me to know. These could be trending topics that are current and mainstream, for example, even though I quite frankly couldn't give a damn about any of it. Let's call this the faux interest set. When I'm reading anything from this set, nothing goes in. It's purely a mechanistic approach designed to fool outsiders and maybe even prove something to myself. This set is not approached from the heart or from a place of genuine love or organic interest. Even if I put aside time to read a book from this set, cast my unwavering gaze onto the pages and register every last word from cover to cover, an outsider may believe that I am fully immersed in what I'm doing and that I'm taking the information in, but really, I am unable to absorb or process a single word. Here, I am hollow, for there is no substance. This is outer compliance, supp supposedly doing and behaving as I should, but without accompanying inner compliance. Alas, my inner world still rebels against taking anything in with which it is not engaged. I'm the kind of person who could read an entire book from my faux interest set and wouldn't be able to relay to you or recall a single detail. What's more is that books from this set take me an age to read. Conversely, books from my interest set are ploughed through rapidly and most of the information is stored. Imagine how many schools are satisfied with the child so long as they are superficially doing as they should, behaving as they should, and reading what they should. Despite the fact the child's jaded inner world does not reflect this. And not to mention, they probably aren't learning anything. I've never seen any of these problems you speak about. They're fine at school. A disturbingly large number of teachers have said this to parents of autistic and PDA children. Hmm. Just because they have outwardly complied, this does not necessarily indicate that they have inwardly complied. Just because they're looking at you whilst you are teaching the class, this does not mean they are listening. Just because they are looking at every word on every page of the book without averting their eyes, this does not mean they are reading a book. Just because they are pretending to be neurotypical, this does not mean they're not autistic. Behaviour is not the be-all and end-all. It is the first signpost towards better, more comprehensive and useful explanations for what is really going on beyond the surface.